Hi everyone and welcome to DIY Mummies Minute, making budget-friendly crafts. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fun. Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be making a personalized serving paddle or a cheese board. And this one was purchased at Dollarama for $4, so really budget friendly. You're also, for this craft, will need your Cricut machine. I have the Explorer 2. I also picked this Scorch Marker Pro Pen up at Michael's and it has the instructions on the back but it's quite easy to use and I also have my heat gun you're going to need a low grit sandpaper and you may need a ruler just to measure out your serving paddle. So the first thing I want to do is just create my stencil and I'm going to use design space to create the stencil. So I'm going to open up a blank canvas and on the left hand side go into images and then at the top in the search bar, I'm going to type wine and cheese. I'm then going to select the second image. So you pour the wine, I'll cut the cheese, and then I'm gonna click add to canvas. Once you have your image on the screen, you can then go ahead and shrink it by clicking on the arrows in the bottom right hand corner and just scrolling inward just so it fits all in your screen and you can see it well. You then wanna go to the left hand side and click shapes and we're gonna pick the square with the rounded edges and this is going to be our cheese board. So we'll click on that and once that's highlighted, you can go to the top and adjust the size. So you're gonna measure your cheese board and put the correct size, so the width and the height. Mine was 15 and a half centimeters by 33 centimeters. And then what you're going to do is you can just zoom out so you can see that cheese board and your image all in one screen. And this will make it a lot easier. So I'm going to zoom out to a 50%. And then I'm going to take my image and I'm just adjusting the size. And then I'm going to place it on the cheese board where I want it to be. And just so I can see the image, you're just gonna go highlight the image and you're going to hit arrange and send it to the front. And there we go. So once I adjust the size to exactly where I want it, then you can go ahead and you can change the size of your cheese board or your rectangular image because you don't wanna use that much vinyl. So you're gonna highlight that rectangular shape and you're going to change the size of it just to fit around your image and that way you won't waste your vinyl. So you already know that this size image is gonna look good on the cheese board. So then you can take that square and just fit it around so you don't have to waste any of your vinyl because we all know that's quite expensive. So once you have that in place, you can highlight both the image and the square, and you're gonna go to the bottom right-hand corner and hit slice. And once you do this, you're gonna end up with three parts. So you're gonna have your stencil, and then you're gonna have your image twice. So you're gonna wanna keep your stencil, and you can highlight the other two and just exit those out. So you no longer need those. And there we go, we have our stencil. So now we can just go ahead and we can make our stencil by clicking the make it button at the top of the right hand corner. The next screen will show your stencil on your Cricut mat. So this you can determine the size of your vinyl and which you need to cut. So the vinyl I'll be using is the Cricut Premium Vinyl and it's a removable mat. Um, and it's in the color black, but it doesn't really matter what color you're using because you're not gonna see that on your project. I'm then gonna cut my vinyl to size, to the size that was showing on the screen, and we're gonna secure it to our Cricut mat. You then wanna check your settings on the dial of the Cricut to make sure it's set on vinyl, and then you can go ahead and weed your mat into the machine. Once your C button is flashing, you can go ahead and make your stencil. When your machine has finished cutting, you can then go ahead and press the flashing arrow button to unload your mat. And then you can go ahead and weed out the stencil using your stencil tool. 
I like to do this right on the mat. It makes it easy and it keeps it flat. Once you have it all weeded out, you can then go ahead and apply your transfer tape. I like to cut the transfer tape and put it on the four corners. And then I cut another piece just to cover the lettering so I can get those little pieces of the E's and the O's. And this just saves some of my transfer tape for other projects. We then want to go ahead and prep our cheese board or the wood that we're using. So to do this we do need to sand it down and this just allows your vinyl to stick a lot better and more securely so you don't get any bleeding when you apply the marker. So I'm using a fine grit sandpaper and I'm just going to sand over the whole front board here and then you can take a piece of paper towel and I just damped it a little bit and we're going to go over the board and get all the dust off. Once your wood is prepped and clean you can then go ahead and apply your stencil securing down the stencil using your Cricut tool and removing your transfer tape. Once your vinyl is in place, you can then go ahead and get your scorch marker. This scorch marker I purchased at Michael's Craft Store. It has two different ends. One is a marker end and the other is a foam sponge. So I'm going to be using the foam sponge. And with this scorch liquid, less is more. So you can see me dabbing the sponge before applying it onto a paper towel. And I'm going to go over the whole stencil using this method. Once you've applied your first coat, you then want to let the wood dry, maybe for about 15 minutes. And then I went ahead and applied a second coat. And the more coats that you apply, the darker the stencil will show up. So I find that two coats gives me the look that I'm looking for. Once your liquid has dried, you can then go ahead and remove your vinyl. You'll then take your heat gun and you're going to go over the stencil with the heat gun, keeping it in motion at all times because you don't want to burn the wood. And this process does take some time, but you can see you can start to see the stencil and you're just going to continue moving that heat gun until you get your desired look. And there you go, you have a budget friendly way to personalize any type of wood, whether it's a cheese board or a cutting board or a sign. And these would make great gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspires you to create something beautiful. This was an open invite to What Would You Make? hosted by OK at Home DIY and Connie's Creative Creations with guest host Six Kids and a Glue Gun. I'll post the playlist down in the description box. Please go check it out and check out these ladies' channels.